ministers to recognize and celebrate the spiritual practice of generosity. In Jesus' parable, the woman who found the lost coin rejoiced over something precious. We'll hear about that in just a few moments in the reading of Scripture. What we offer to God is precious to us. And when we present it to God, God rejoices in our gifts. So let us bless God with all of the offerings that we are able to share in this world. Our time, our talents, our gifts and abilities in whatever way they might be shown, and our resources that we have been blessed with in such a manner that we can bless others. And so we come with this in mind to each service of worship to support and bless the ministry and mission that we here at Tawasinai Church have been called to for now over 60 years. That's an amazing milestone for us. And I want us just to hear that and to hear the thanksgiving for all those that have gone before us and those that continue forward into the days and years ahead. So let us pray this prayer of dedication together. Lord God, receive our gifts offered in the spirit of generosity and humility. Bless and use them for the work that you long to do in the world. In Jesus' name, Amen. Sylvia is going to come forward and lead us in the reading of Scripture. Thank you, Sylvia, for the reading of that passage for us. And greetings I bring to all of you. And uh, we are back on video again to put it online for those that are not able to join with us. And we will make sure that gets uh, uploaded and sent out this afternoon. So you can pass that word around as well to let people know that they can check online to see how our worship was together today. But I greet you here today on the, uh, and say happy 60th anniversary to Austin United Church. 
You are the membership of this church at this time in its uh, history over these 60 years. It is always good to have a reason to celebrate and to give thanks for the goodness of God's grace and provision. And over the past 60 years, our church has been blessed with many opportunities to share God's love in the community around us. We have witnessed uh, commitment, service, care for each other, encouragement, and friendship on so many levels. And as your minister, I say thank you to you. And I hold you in prayer for the days, weeks, months, and years ahead. Now over the past weeks and months, we have been celebrating many birthdays of members, some in your 90s and even 100 years old. The longevity of life and service is a witness to, many of, to much of God's goodness. And we have come through COVID and other trials over the past few years, and while meeting new and old challenges, we are still standing strong in faith. Your presence here today is a witness to that. So yesterday, we gathered as a community of faith to celebrate a meal and fellowship in person with a whole hall full of people sitting at tables together, sharing a meal and memories and having some fun music and wonderful gifts shared uh, with us as well. And today we celebrate in this worship service naming and recognizing it and sharing communion as God's people. And we give God praise for the blessing of the past and looking forward into the days ahead. Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians 5.11 reminds us, Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. So we will be uh, getting things more and more uh, established and starting up again over these next weeks. Uh, look for the emails to be coming out, uh, letting you know. And as you get that information, please help us pass it along, pass it to other people, invite other people to take part in many of the things that we would offer as well. I named at the beginning of the service that we are in a huge time of transition in the world around us. And sometimes that transition can cause a sense of less equilibrium, less balance, a sense of what is going on around us and why and how do we walk through this? Where do we find that equilibrium again? Now, I'm speaking of something that we're looking to find and it's not coins. Well, we would welcome any coins that you might find that you would like to know. But we're not talking about coins today. We're talking about finding equilibrium, finding the foundation that holds us and grounds us because the world around us doesn't give us that. It causes us to question and wonder and be worried and anxious at times. And so in the scripture today, in the passage that was read by Sylvia, we see that this idea of searching until we find. And then we can celebrate together giving thanks for God's faithfulness. Well, I wondered how I would speak to this whole thing today. Here I am in the middle of, of giving you some thoughts uh, to carry into the week ahead. I'm going to be straight up front with you. I was thinking about having a little bit of fun. But I realized that I hadn't really rehearsed it very well and it would probably look much more awkward than it really should have. But I was going to uh, 
misplaced my shawl and my different uh, things around that I should have been prepared for this morning and then go searching for them and find them. I thought, that might strike a little bit too close to home because we leave things all the time and we're always searching for them and we get so frustrated and we get in trouble. Where did I leave it? I can't find it. It happened to me last week. We've been home for three weeks now and I couldn't find my running shoes. I had taken them with me and I knew I had worn them back a few weeks ago when we went to the retreat over on the island. I had packed them and took them. I knew I had them. And then it was only yesterday that I realized, oh, there's a suitcase I didn't unpack. And there were my shoes right there. I have them on today. They feel really good. I thought that would have been fun. Because a couple of weeks ago, Lori, our church secretary, reminded me of something. And I don't know if somebody had called and reminded her, perhaps. It could have been that way. But she said, Dan, there was a box put away ten years ago. It was a memory box, a, a kind of a time capsule that at the 50th anniversary of our congregation, the members of the, uh, I guess of the board at that time, or, or lead members of the church, put this box together. We opened it yesterday, and we looked at a few of the things. And I wanted just to read one or two more pieces from that for us today as we recognize and give thanks for the, the years past. You can come and look at this afterwards if that's something that uh, you would like to do. There's also a table at the back with photos on it um, of years past and uh, there's a couple of special photograph books that have been put together about the choirs and we thank Gail for doing that and uh, they're there for you to look at and, and share memories. Talk about those good things with the people that you're with. And so today, I just thought it might be interesting to hear. I need to check, are you hearing me on the mic well enough? Good, thank you. And this one, I think it must have been, uh, the last name on it is Melanie Williams. She must have put this together from the board, from the uh, uh, church board. Hello and congratulations to another 10 years, which I'm sure have flown by as fast for you as the past 10 have for us. We've seen a lot of change and I'm sure there's some more change to come. Almost exactly four years ago, we moved to a streamlined board. That was our 50th anniversary she's reflecting. We moved to a streamlined board model with a full council structure, from a full council structure. The council was made up of an executive and representatives from each of the active committees. And we, are, we were finding it more and more difficult to find volunteers for the positions and the decision making was becoming cumbersome. And we were finding that the structure was oversized for the activities of the congregation at TUC. So after much research and discussion, we settled on the streamlined board structure to include the streamlined board with six members, the board of trustees and the MP committee. And we are realizing that the current structure is not a